Hey crafty friends, welcome to day 5 of the 14 Days of Crafty Love 2023 Valentine's Day series. Um, and today we are going to be creating some hidden paper clips uh, to use in your planner, your journals. Uh, you could clip these in uh, to um, loaded envelopes or loaded pockets, anything you would like. Um, so I've already created two um, very simple ones. This one here, I have decorated this side and I've made it a little envelope. And I just added a little bit of adhesive at the top to keep it closed. And then you could fill this with some little die cuts. So I have a couple little hearts and then I have a little blank white piece of paper that you could write a little note in there. And it just fits right in here. And you have a cute little clip that will clip at the top of your page. And then this one here, I've just taken and rounded the corners on a piece of paper that measures uh, two by two and a quarter. Um, and... Um, it almost looks square after I've rounded the corners. I just used a sticker from the cardstock sheet, this little sentiment. And um, as you can see, here's the part of my clip. And it just, this one fits flush down with your page. As this one actually sticks up from the page. So you could make them however you want to. But I actually like having these in my bookmark that sit flush. But I can still, you know, see the top of the paper clip. And be able to easily find what I need. So let's go ahead and create um, one of each of these. So I've already uh, cut out my base for the envelope style. And I'm using my mini envelope punch board. And my card size inside would be two by two. Um, so let me bring this up so you can see. So my paper needs to be three and three eighths by three and three eighths. And then I need to score at one and five eighths. So what you will do is you would put your paper in. And let me see here. So on our little measurements here, we need to find one and five eighths. So you're going to stick your paper in, line it up with that one and five eighths, and then we are gonna score it. So I will have to lay that flat down to score. So what you're gonna do is you are gonna punch this top button and then you are going to score. So after you score it, you are going to rotate your paper. And this score line that you just did, you are going to want to line it right here with this little part of your envelope punch board. Let's see if you can see that score line. So you're going to want to add it right there. And then you are going to punch again. And score. It's harder to see on this black paper. And then you are going to repeat. So you're going to rotate, line it up. punch and score. Super simple to use this little envelope punch board. Alright, so after you have that, you'll have your score lines for your envelope. So then you can decide if you want your um, envelope to be uh, pointed or rounded. So I normally don't round the edges that's going to be my middle. So I'm going to look at the direction of my paper and decide I think I want this to be my outside 
Um, so I'm going to have these two be my flaps to fold in, and that's going to be my top and my bottom. So if you want to round the top, this side of your envelope punch board here, you can round. So I'm just going to make sure I have the direction of the paper that I want it to be. And I'm thinking I like that. So we're going to have, we're going to put that in there and just punch. And then it just rounds your corners. And you could round the corners on all of them if you wanted to. Um, like if you wanted this rounded too. So we'll round all four corners on this one. Since we're making this into like a paper clip, that might be a little bit more decorative. And then you were done with your punch board. So again, I'm going to look, I want this lover boy to be at the top and then you're just going to fold your sides in and I like to use my larger bone folder just to give those sides a good crease. And this paper is nice because it is double sided. And then you would have your envelope. So in order to make a spot for your paper clip to come out of the bottom, I just took and opened this up and then I grabbed my paper clip and kind of put it in the middle here using this part of my envelope as my center and then I just use my exacto and I made a little slit in here so you could use your scissors to do this but I just made a little slit in here, centered it the best that I could, and then I'm going to put my paper clip. Let's see. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Then you're going to slip your paper clip out of here. And however far down you want it to go. And then what I did was I actually folded this up and just to trim some of this off. But just give that a good trim and then figure out how far you want your paper clip to come out. So I didn't put a lot of the paper clip out on that one. So if we had our paper clip sticking out this far on this one, um, then you would be, you would have your envelope sitting further up on your page or your um, paper clip coming further down. So you can see I didn't quite center this paper clip. So let's stick this back in there. And let's see, I'm going to go about that far. Now, to secure this in here, you could add some hot glue or some double sided tape. I'm just using some regular scotch tape just to secure this in here because since it is coming out the bottom of the envelope, it will move around. But what I did was I just took some clear scotch tape and kind of added a layer of protection here, keeping that uh, paper clip sturdy. Now what we need to do is add a little bit of adhesive on our envelope to close it up. And I'm just grabbing some of my 
score tape and adding a little bit on each side of the envelope. And then we will seal this up. And we have a super cute envelope already. Like you wouldn't have to decorate this if you didn't want to. Um, now what I did was I added just a little bit of my adhesive at the top to close up the envelope. And then have a little scrap of paper. To go in there so you can write a little message or even use some stickers so I have these cardstock stickers left over uh, let's see we could do this one here that says I will always love you forever and ever the rest of your life and we could add that to our little note and pop that in our little envelope here. Super cute. Now we can go ahead and decorate this if you want to. I do see this cute envelope sticker here that says sealed with a kiss. That would be cute to add on there and maybe um, add that and maybe a little heart let's see let's grab a red heart so we could do something like that something very simple or like I said you don't even have to embellish uh, this because the paper already has the envelopes on there and I think that's super cute but let's go ahead and add one of these felt hearts and then we'll layer it up with the little envelope. And then let's see, um, let's do this forever and always sticker. And we could just add that one here. And there we go. We have a cute little envelope paper clip already completed. How cute is that? And it's so tiny and fun. So we have two little envelopes. Now let's make one of these. Um, and this one has the paper clip where it will sit uh, flush with the top of your page like so. Okay, so what you need is your pattern paper and you will cut it two inches wide and you will need two of these. So two inches wide. And I like to cut them two and a quarter inches long because I think that just makes a really nice size. And we need two of these. And then let's see, I think the stamps are cute, but a bit busy. So I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to do these cute little smooches. So what you want to do is you're going to have this. And if you want them to match, you are going to put them together where, and I didn't cut that very well. So you're going to want to put them together kind of front and back. Or if you wanted the, um, say you wanted this on the back, you would put them together just like so. So we're going to put these together and then I'm going to go ahead and corner uh, round my corners while I have it holding them together. I just think this makes it easy to do this now before you put the paper clip in. If you have like a a scalloped or a ticket, um, anything like that, that would work as well, uh, just to give you a little bit of a decorative edge. And I like to put my larger size of my paper clip in the middle, 
and then have the smaller side on the outside. But of course you could do it um, opposite. And then they are going to get glued together like so. So let's add some adhesive to this one. And I like to use my score tape for this. Or you could use your glue gun or whatever you have on hand. So just add your score tape around the edges. I like to have a little bit in the center. All right, and another tip is use a little bit more of your scotch tape to add uh, your to add to the paper clip in the inside. I think it just helps secure that paper clip. And now what we're gonna do is we're just going to do our best to line these up. And you will probably have to do a little bit of trimming. I know my papers weren't perfect. So I will go back in and see, like I need to trim this here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of trimming to make these two meet together. There we go. So we have our cute hidden paper clip put together for us. Now we just need to decorate it. So... I have some ephemera. That's a little bit too big for it, I think. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, let's try maybe the heart. That will work. I'm going to add a little bit of extra adhesive to the back of this heart. We're going to put that right in the middle. And then let's find a, maybe a phrase. Um, let's do I'm sweet on you. Just going to put that right in the middle. And then you can decorate these. Uh, you could add some buttons. You can add some of your jimmies on here. Um, if you're going to be putting this in like a book, I wouldn't suggest adding too much bulk to it um, because it's going to be in your book. But if you're just adding this to like um, a traveler's notebook or a planner or anything that's going... You know, doesn't matter if you have a little extra bulk or in a loaded pocket, then you could add that extra dimension. But these are super easy to create. And I love the little envelope ones because you have the option of adding the cute little note and um, some little uh, die cuts in there or stickers. So let me grab my planner and then we can put these in here. So just grab a page. We'll do one of each. So there's flush and then this one will stick out of your planner um, and then this one sits flush on your page so thanks a lot guys for stopping by and checking out uh, today's video um, I hope you will stop back by and check out um, 
tomorrow's video and tomorrow we are going to be creating some postage stamp embellishments so i hope you will join me for uh day six of my valentine's day series all right guys thanks so much for stopping by i hope you all have a great day bye